Brussels has been warned against pushing for more integration through the back door or face more legal clashes with member states. The European Union's top court ruled on Thursday that Poland's system for disciplining judges undercuts the bloc's laws, part of an escalating battle over democratic rules that risks Warsaw losing some of its key development funding. On the same day, the European Court of Justice ECJ, sided with Warsaw against Berlin in a case over Gazprom's access to the Opel pipeline, which links the Russian gas producer's Nord Stream line to Germany. The ruling against Poland has sparked fears the country could soon decide to leave the bloc and follow Britain's path outside the EU. And according to Italian MEP Marco Zanni, others could soon follow if Brussels continues to push its United States of Europe agenda through the back door. He warned, Germany and Poland clash with the EU reaffirming the supremacy of their system over the European one, forcing the construction of a federal state through the back door has only fueled tensions. I have no doubt that others will follow. Poland's ruling nationalists set up a disciplinary chamber at the Supreme Court in a sweeping overhaul of the judiciary already condemned by the ECJ in Luxembourg and the bloc's Brussels-based executive, which acts as the guardian of laws across the 27 member states, reinforcing that, the ECJ ruled that the chamber does not provide all the guarantees of impartiality and independence, and, in particular, is not protected from the direct or indirect influence of the Polish legislature and executive. The ECJ had already told Warsaw to immediately stop all proceedings at the disciplinary chamber but Poland's top court said on Wednesday the demand ran counter to its constitution and the country should not comply. It is an obvious conclusion for any Polish citizen that the constitution is the highest legal act, Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki told reporters on Thursday. Both he and Justice Minister Zbigniew Ziobro said they considered the EU's stance to be politically motivated.